As you know by now, timestamps are important to Apache Cassandra to be able to identify the most recent data. But in a completely distributed system like Apache Cassandra, keeping all the nodes in sync is a little challenging. Each node has its own timestamp counter that keeps track of the node local time. It's not enough to synchronize these timestamp counters once, because these counters will drift apart over time. So it is necessary to resynchronize the node clocks periodically. Network Time Protocol, or NTP, performs this synchronization for us. Generally, this happens without any intervention, but you might be aware of this mechanism. General purpose operating systems like Linux have resource limits to prevent a user from hogging all the resources. You investigate these limits using the uLimit command. For nodes running Apache Cassandra, we do want to let Cassandra processes have unfettered access to all resources on the machine. We can turn off these limits by adding the limits conf file. Notice that if you're running on Ubuntu system, you will want to use root instead of star. For general purpose Linux systems, it might make sense to allow swapping as a way to increase the size of virtual memory. However, for Apache Cassandra, swapping will have a devastating impact. You're actually better off letting your node die and restart rather than limp along swapping memory. So we want to disable swapping completely. Let me show you how we do this. You can turn off swapping without rebooting using the swap off a command. This makes changes in the running image, but it doesn't turn off swap permanently. You can permanently disable swap devices after reboot by editing the fs tab file. Here's the sed script that will make the necessary changes. The swappiness setting tells the kernel how aggressively to swap pages to disk. A low value tells the kernel not to swap pages. So in etsy slash syscontrol, set vm swappiness to zero as shown at the bottom of the slide. You may also want to change your kernel network settings. You set these in the etsy syscontrol conf as shown on the slide. Once you edit the etsy syscontrol conf, you can reload the values using the syscontrol p command. We're not going into an explanation of each of these values in this class, but check your man pages for the complete description.